What's up guys? Welcome to another day on the shop. Today we are getting into some pipes. Well tubes. Inline tube. Brake lines. This. Yep. Uh. Alright, so these lines are going to replace this line and the one up under it. So these are both front lines. We're going to reroute them up under the car, the engine, all the way over to here where it pops back up and goes into, pops up and goes right in there where that light is. So <clears throat> we're refreshing these lines by just replacing them. It's easier that way. Uh, these look identical. They're actually, uh, I, I really like them. Uh, I paid some okay money for them. It wasn't like the cheapest deal, but uh, they have the factory uh, overlay on the hoses themselves. Uh, they have these purple uh, anodized ends, uh, and they're all swirly like the stock ones. Uh, they're, uh, other than that little kink right there that's just rounded off, but that's how they got shipped. So I'm going to put this uh, front driver one in first, and... Uh, Start looking at replacing that uh, on this side, and then we'll do the passenger. So once we do that, we, uh, we start bleeding some brakes and maybe moving this thing today. So uh, hopefully this won't take too long. Uh, more of a time lapse because there's not really much to do other than just unscrew some brake lines and put some new ones on and then pump the brakes up and bleed them and yeah, so stand by for a time lapse. Did these took that out? Got this little bracket off. Put this. Mm-hmm. That was half inch. That down there. This line goes. I have to fish it through. And there's two half inch bolts down there. That's what I'm doing. All right, so I just cut this line right here. So I'm just gonna basically cut the line and feed the other one through. So we got this one up, goes down, travels up under there, all the way across. And coming over here, get around my junk. Got this line, and it cuts through right there. So I can just cut it and it'll feed through a lot easier. And then I'll just slowly feed the new one through. And we'll get the bracket on up here. And the other bracket's on down there. That's what we're going to do. Now i got to get my brackets and put them back down there. I'll show that. So we replaced the lines, tightened them up. Uh, the little bracket down here that holds these together, it's a pain in the butt to get to, pain in the butt to put in. I'm not gonna put it in. These lines aren't touching anything. Even when they move and everything, they're so snug and tight. There's nothing that they're gonna touch. So it's bolted in all the way through as y'all saw. Uh, had some Zerg fittings on some parts, so Grease them up. Now, we're gonna bleed the brakes again. And that should be it for right now. Let's bleed some brakes again. All right, so it's 
been bled again. Now I'm gonna crank it, see how this pedal does. I'm gonna see how it does in gear and everything else and go from there. So let's crank this thing. Alright, so today is a new day. We bled the brakes, as you saw, we cranked it up. We found a couple of issues. So one issue is this was all loose, all the hoses and everything. So we uh, we tightened all them up. Um, the difference is, I'll say, with these, uh, these are 7 sixteenths. Uh, they're not 3 eighths like the old ones. So they're a little bit bigger. This has a leak, so we're pulling this off, and uh, I'm missing a piece. So we got a new one to go in there. We got new hose to go on there. We got a new check valve. We're gonna see if we can eliminate this right here and just tie the check valve into the other piece down there. So mainly we're getting this ready for the first drive, which should hopefully be tomorrow. And we'll see how all this goes whenever I start getting all this together. Uh, I do have a little uh, 3 8 inch diameter hole in the passenger side header. Uh, so that is going to be uh, fixed with some JB Weld and a little piece of metal. So just to get it done because I don't feel like waiting. I'm impatient and I'm tired of waiting on this car after two years of sitting in my... Uh, yard slash shop we're gonna get it on the road and uh so i'm just running through checking uh checking everything out gonna make sure the vacuum lines are all good uh, i got some carb cleaner just to make sure i can clean the car about one more time through the airports and all that uh brakes like i said are good we've bled them we've pushed the pedal down but i have a leak i think in the vacuum part of the brake booster so i got another check valve like i said so let's get in here and uh, start figuring some of this out. So for this exhaust leak, we're gonna use some high quality Alabama stamped slash printed out uh, license plate. Like I said, it's not a big hole. So I don't need a huge piece. Just enough for it to go around the, the hole and to stick with some JB Weld. About like that. Now I'll kind of curve it to it. I'm going to sand it down with a wire wheel real quick. So it has a place to stick to. Throw some uh, JB Weld on it. And uh, we'll be in business for that. So I already have the car jacked up. I'm making sure my water's topped off right here, which it keeps slowly leaking down into the, ra uh, the radiator. Just making sure I top it completely off as it leaks down into the overflow so we're gonna get this done we're gonna get this handled and uh, soon we're gonna start dressing this motor up and maybe take it to the drag, drag strip after we play around on it some but until then we are going to just fix the common little issues that it has starting with this let me get down here and uh, wire wheel this thing off and uh, make some JB Weld. Press it on here and we're going to let it sit for the entire rest of the day and tomorrow until we can get this thing out of the shop. So, let's do that. Alright, here's my little hole. Uh, this stuff's really way too thin to weld on the way it is. So, uh, I'm just going to wire wheel this around it and then... Get the JB Weld ready. Alright, my shop's a mess. Anytime I use JB Weld, I like to uh, always keep my zip tie ends to mix it with. I think it makes good sense to have that. So, I'm going to put a nice little layer and kick this on there. When we press it on and hold it, it should stick good. All 
All right, got a new shiny little PCV valve uh, to go on this valve cover. I don't really need one, but I figured why not. So uh, got that, got some new line. Uh, I'm gonna try and route this the easiest way possible where it's not too long because I still have to use some of this for the um, brake booster with the check valve. So I gotta see how much more line I got. Got two feet right here and I'm hoping that a foot can be used for one and a foot can be used for the other. So let me check. All right, found an extra piece. I got actually uh, a lot of 3 8 uh, inch hose. So we're gonna put this over here. Uh, set y'all down in a nice spot. Oh, so we gotta take this and we gotta loop it behind the carburetor into itself. So like I said, I might actually have to cut this shorter because I don't see it fitting very well with this length. So, yeah, we're going to cut this. All right, so I cut it, I routed it up under the throttle cable. Now I just got to fit it on the back of the carb. Hopefully it does. Oh. Yep, perfect. Set all down in there. Now I got to replace this, which is hose clamped together. So I'm going to get rid of this little valve right here and just put this check valve in. Just get a new one, so. Oh. Ouch. All right, this was painted anyway, so I guess they wanted everything black, but we're gonna replace it with a black one. All right, got my new check valve in, but now I've gotta undo this, because this is teed off to transmission. I don't know if this is working or not right so we will pop this off look at that valve that might, oh, might be a little big all right so I don't even know what this is I guess it might be another check valve I don't know how many you need on here or a little canister of some sort all right so Get this other 3 8 hose on here and mark it up for how long it needs to be. So, I'm just gonna put this on here. Alright, well, we gotta figure something else out. Alright, so this is really janky. Uh, this is a little T. This is 3 8 This is 3 8 This is a whole lot smaller. I don't even know what size this is. Uh, quarter inch. So this quarter inch hose is about to go to another quarter inch hose. So I'm going to cut it real short and just have it adapted to it. Here's a cap on here to make sure it doesn't leak. And I'm going to have it go from there to up here. And so I have everything I need. That's about where I want it. So we'll cut it. Cut a little bit shorter than I want because I got more three eighths. All right, we're gonna round it all the way through here. All right, and then where my cutters went. I always lose everything I own in here. Oh, right here. Cut it a little bit longer than I want. There we go. All right. I'm gonna twist it around. I'll shove it on here. All right. So, got all that lined up. And that tees off, tees off, uh, capped off to there. Goes to the back of the carb. Uh, yeah. So. Hopefully that's all I need. And uh, this thing's dirty everywhere. Uh, hopefully I fixed a few things with it. Hopefully we're not leaking any water. Shouldn't look like it right now, but we might be when we start it up. Because a water pump might work, or might leak. But, so we did the brake lines. Check. We've checked fluids. Check. We've replaced the vacuum lines and a check valve and everything 
and the PCV valve so that we know the vacuum system at least is up to date and I filled all the holes. It's always good to do that. Uh, and we patched the exhaust. So that should be it for right now. Uh, yeah. So until tomorrow, uh, you can just wait. So tomorrow we're gonna have, uh, I'm gonna put this back down in just a minute. Like I said, water's checked everything. I'm gonna put it back down for tonight. Tomorrow I'm gonna recheck fluids and we're gonna probably take it out. And hopefully it drives and stops. Stops more of than drives because I don't wanna not stop. And then eventually we have new hinge pins. So we gotta rebuild the hinges on the doors. Uh, I got some wiring to do over there. We got to clean up in here. And then we got to figure out what's going on with the dash. The dash has no lights and nothing works. So, I don't know why that is. But, uh, yeah. So, stay tuned until tomorrow. <laughs>